Welcome. You have missed four seconds of the game. We've had a miraculous turnaround here and we are ready to roll for the seniors versus Gabia. And we have today a COCOMS and we welcome to the senior day, Danny Atherton. Danny, good morning. Excellent to have you along board to give the insight into the academy, all your professional feedback, everything that we want to hear from you. We're just going to put you back online, hang on, Danny. So hold for 30 seconds. And as you can see, we've got the first camera on board at the moment. We'll run you through some teams and some players as soon as we can. But what a lovely position we are here, nice and high up in the... Uh, stand here which gives us a bird's eye view we'll, we'll get the chance of running through the teams uh, we may even get a look at formation but it's all looking good here for the second game of the day it's just non-stop nothing happening from there to keep you up to speed we are in white and Gabia are in green So early doors, Gabby out. Not really taking the time getting into their corner. And I'm going to welcome Danny back again because now we've got all the right wires in the right place. That was such a quick turnaround. Yeah, I'm back. And so welcome Danny Atherton to the Malaga City, second game of the day, and he's going to give us the expert analysis on everything Malaga and football. I'll try my best. Sounds good, Danny. And obviously, we want to hear from everybody. If you're out there today watching in, we're sending big love from El Minaka. And we want to hear from you. And if you're a big fan of Danny, Danny, throw him some questions as well. We want to hear from you where you are, who you're supporting, what you're up to and we will bring you the best quality stream we can. So, building from the back, Taylor James and Ryan Yamaguchi. And Omar Sanchez is the right back. And at this moment in time, Danny may recognise more of the players than I do. Yeah, I know a few of the lads from Arminyaka. This is the Arminyaka team. Uh, my team's on a little bit later, so uh, I'll do my best with that. Try and remember some names. Well, the Arminyaka, the, the seniors later, which is a, that's a 3.30 GMT, 4.30 Central European time kickoff, and wherever you are in the world. Um, those they have their regular squad numbers it makes it nice and easy but the uh the Yamanaka lads don't so we look for things like those bright orange boots and the big nice blonde hair of tobias carlson up front yeah there we go oh. and here we are we're back got dallas in goal though good mate of mine very good goalkeeper well We've been saying before that the goalkeeping, I've said this on many occasions, the quality of the goalkeeping is exceptional. Um, right across, right across the, uh, the spectrum, all the keepers have absolutely cracking games and got my hat off to whoever does the goalkeeping, either the, the searching for them, the coaching or or just the coaching but it's really good quality yeah it's uh it's a credit and all the keepers are a credit to the coaches that they bring in and uh they have recently started doing a uh, a specialized goalkeeper training session once a week so uh that got put on hold for a bit because of covid but uh you can see in the games that it's really paying off yeah it really is good quality stuff tobias carson lots of goals early in the season pre-season Start off with, we need him to get in on the uh, on target again today. Playing up front with Max Pedersen, Eric Malou out wide as well. Big Max, my neighbour, my hey. neighbour back in Tobasso. 
Well, we've got to bring you a bit of homework as well because we've got a 14 on the pitch, but I don't have a 14. So we will get to the bottom of that. Oh. Max Peterson is playing is playing half the man he was because the item is 28. That's going fine. And a big shout out to another goalkeeping colossus today. Not only has we got Danny Atherton on CoComs, we got Braden Miller on the uh, camera. So Braden, are you? And he is still in his kit from the last game. That is commendable. Who's the Marine keeper that did that, wasn't it? Danny. Oh yeah. So uh, Bailey, his name is. He's one of my good mates. Uh, I was actually doing a bit of training with him uh, over the break. Uh, and he's uh, doing really well at Marine. And a lot of the lads like him, I'm still in contact with a few of them, and obviously they're doing really well, and they're looking forward to that big game against Tottenham in January. So uh, hopefully I can get there for that. And Bradley Boyce in there was with the early cross, looking for Carlson. Gabby are building well on the edge. Yamaguchi, early press, and well played by Peterson. He's really good in that role, Max. Recognises the player well, and he just breaks it up whenever he can get a chance. Big Taylor James at the back. Yamaguchi have been a really good partnership so far this season. Omar Sanchez. Taylor James, he's got the... Captain's armband in. Peterson. So Peterson is playing just in front of the uh, centre backs. has just done really well again there. Just forces him wide and breaks up that player, like I've just said. He really does recognise the game and he plays that position very, very well. Just recovers the ball and keeps it for the team. God, it's like having a professional on board here today. It's almost like I've played football for a while. Yeah. Any big Merseyside teams you play for you know, out of the two? I've played for the two biggest teams in Merseyside. Yeah. Well, the three. What's that? Mar uh, Marine Liverpool. and Liverpool. Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool 23 is a Marine. So yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. the three best the, teams in Merseyside. The, the blue side of Merseyside with more Liverpool registered season ticket holders than Liverpool will be turning in their grave. Oh, good ball there. It's Boyson. He's, He's in. in. He's through. Oh, he's got to go down. And. Unfortunately, he just should have gone down there. The keeper did really well, actually. Stayed up quite strong. See that again. This was a good ball. Good run inside. Across the defender. Keeper stood up well and then... Just one of them scenarios where if you don't go down, you don't get the pen. But if you do go down, you do get the pen. It's not mm. right, but just the way that football is at the moment, especially with no VAR or anything like that in this league, it's, it's difficult, but... Uh, you don't see it very often in Spain where they don't take a chance to milk something. So I'm sure if that was the other way, we'd have the lad on the floor with the physio and the, the water bottles and everything on. Yep. Going to be a clear turn in well. Switching the play early. Looking very for the fun. ball inside Sanchez. But Odell is there. So, Danny, you, 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 you know Dallas well. How do you pronounce his second name? We've debated Odell, Odell. What's the answer? I've always gone with Odell. We've right. never really had uh, the conversation, but uh, <laughs> it wasn't really a sit down at dinner and just go, by the way, Dallas, how do you pronounce this second name? And uh, 
Yeah, I'll go with Odell. I think it's Dallas Odell. I'm sure he'll correct me later on in a conversation or something like that. But there is definitely a few more difficult names to pronounce for you. Boy, soon doing really well. Pulled it back for Sanchez outside of his foot. And it looked like Carlson was thinking he was an offside and couldn't get him back involved with it. I think it's one of them. You risk it and you go for it. I think uh, if he just taps it in, it's a 50-50 chance whether the liner puts his flag up or not. So uh, Maybe he wasn't quite sure if it was where he was in position in goal, if it was going to... If he touched it and it was going in. But it's all going forward at the moment. It's all in Monaco. Oh, Boyson's having a cracking game at the moment and just run through the player. And, oh, look at that, a miraculous recovery. He's just gone from a broken ankle to a fight within 0.5 seconds. Well, you see, and that's why when you're in hospital, they try and put adrenaline in you to uh, make you better, because it works. Peterson breaking up again. Yamaguchi. Yeah, I did spend a little bit of time training with this team, training with the... I trained with quite a few of the teams over in the setup in uh, Almanyaka, uh, helping out with different teams and stuff like that, just trying to get as much training as I can, so I do recognise a few of them. Excellent. More than I do most of the time. And I think there's no offside. And they're looking for no, Carlson. Yeah, yeah there is, there's the flag. Flag went up early, but still good reason to moan. Now, I'm told that normally this, this pitch would be a, a carpet, but with COVID and restrictions of people and groundsmen getting in there, obviously it's not looking at its best, but hopefully that will change. They are quite lucky to have a pitch like this. It's very rare over there that you do get a grass pitch. Yeah. You, you are playing quite often on a AstroTurf and for the keepers anyway, it doesn't do wonders for your hips. No. It's uh, I remember after the uh, the World Cup um, there was a, a a stat that we had something like you know 2000 accredited FIFA, UEFA, whatever it was, coaches and Germany had like 80, but they had two and a half thousand um, 4G pitches and we had 84, something ridiculous like that, because basically, you know, if you're good at it, you can play on it. Yeah, I think that's always been the outlook here in England anyway, so it's been whatever type of pitch you've got, if it's playable, it's playable, whether it's a big muddy sludgy pitch or whether it's a bowling green to play on. If there's a football and there's a pitch in two goals, you can play on it. You as don't need goals, concerned. jump was for goalposts. I'll argue with that one all day because <laughs> how do we know if it's the post? Also, my best friends <laughs> saved me on many occasions. Jay Ruling, support from Australia. Come on, the boys. Thank you, Jay, for jumping online. Don't forget, we want to hear from you all. We want to know who you're supporting. We want to know where you are. We're sending you big love from Amanaka. And we want to hear from you, who you're supporting and what you're up to, what part of the world. Jay, I'm just, it's coming through to me, hearing in my ear that played earlier in the season for the boys, so great there, Jay. And you are what? You are, I don't know what part of Australia you're in, but you're around about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. Carlson going early from the edge. Yeah, I bet I've met Jay, but I'm not sure whether it's Jay or Jay. That's a discussion that I should have had with him. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that one either. I'm sure it's Jai or something like that. We'll but go I, with Jai. We actually watched, I can't remember the, the fixture, but it was, they were playing at home here and we actually watched the game. There was about four or five of us, some of the lads that weren't in the, in the squad for the game. We watched it from the roof of the hotel, which is actually just located just over the road. So, uh, nice. after the game, Dallas did send me a highlight where he could hear me cheering him on from the hotel. So, uh, we do try and support the lads whenever we can. Excellent. Yeah, no, it is one big family. The FC Malaga City Academy 
It's a family, all the teams joining from the Feminino, from the Academy's teams to the seniors. Um, it is a one-of-a-kind experience. We have players from over 35 countries, six continents, and it's the opportunity to be immersed in the life of a professional player for 10 months in state-of-the-art facilities. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it's a fantastic opportunity for any player that's willing to do it and can have the opportunity to do it. It's, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone that's looking to get into football more and try and get something more full-time than just your average train once a week and play on a weekend. That's good clearance in the middle. I think that was Pedersen again. Good pressing, pushing him wide. And Carlson. Can he bring it under and bring the other players in? Boyson ooh, ooh, came in from behind a bit, a bit enthusiastically. It looks a bit like it was his own player that caught him more there. Yeah, so he just play on there. And Wyatt, Boyson. Maybe for a foul, must be an offside flag up. Yamaguchi. Taylor James across. Yeah, Gamaguchi from Japan. You can really see across all the games that you watch. It's uh, something that the academy and the, all the teams at the academy try and do. They try and play out from the back. They try and play passes and play proper football. And uh, they seem to be doing it really well up to now in this game. Yeah, they have a... They have a list of objectives playing out from the back. Clinical first touch. Oh, just Gabby up on the break here. Oh, that's a great there, but it's, it's clear. Again. So their objectives is a clinical first touch, passes and move, be efficient with the first time touch, quality of passes and crosses, do not stop the ball and finishing opportunities. That's across the club, across the academy. Boyson breaking, done well getting there. I think he's won a corner, and he has. Yeah. Although I personally think it was a goal kick, but he's got the corner. Well, the goalkeeper's not very happy about it. When our goalkeeper's happy. happy. I'm a very happy person. <laughs> well, yeah, we, you're part of the goalkeeping union. Myself, we used to be a keeper in my football playing days before I turned to the the, the game with the funny shaped ball. Yeah. And then the goalkeepers, I tell you, we're natural in the lineouts. Straight in there, safe hands. Although they put you on the wing to start off with because you don't know anything. That's how it works yeah. in rugby. Well, I'm from St. Helens. It's a oh, big, rugby big league, rugby, yeah, the other rugby the, league area. The game where yeah, played a bit of rugby back in school. Yeah, not really rugby anyway. Oh, it's not really rugby. It's just rugby league. It's a lot oh. of running around in those scrums. Yeah. yeah, we can have the discussion. Anyway. We can have that discussion in between the next yeah, two games. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's done very well there, the number 11. Not quite sure who that is, but he's done very well and drawn a free kick out of him. Recent comment there from uh, Santiago of Maranon Pinero. Que guapo el potero del Gabia. Hey, that wasn't bad. 
That's that not bad, a, is it? That no. was a good effort. It's, it, that... it is K, not Key. All oh, right. Uh, sorry, it's K Guapo S L Portero de Galbria. Oh my God, you're just because I can natural. read it doesn't mean I can speak it. All right. <laughs> and that is how handsome the Gabia goalkeeper is. We need it, lo it looks like she spelt Daniel wrong. We, so we, I, I think she is talking about me, <laughs> but we'll let Gabby have that one. Well, I was going to be a little bit more, and I was going to say, you wait until she sees the close-up of Dallas. Ah, well. Put more Spanish to shame, I know that. Boyson <laughs> done really well running that and just caught. No, I did start learning Spanish as soon as I got over there. But uh, this babble's not really doing me many favours at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Carlson, not quite on the edge, and there is the good-looking keeper. <laughs> According to Santiago, anyway, that's not my... I'm still sitting on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Just trying a bit too much to overplay there from Gabia. Managed to regain the ball though. Good line from Dallas, but it's offside anyway. That's one thing that does confuse me, and it confused a lot of the lads in Spain that. When I, was all, when I was training and everything like that, I would just wear shorts and a T-shirt because it was always so hot. And then you get people like Dallas, who's obviously from used to warmer climates, and he's playing in pants here. It's, yeah. If I wore pants, I'd have passed out. I, I couldn't handle the heat. Well, that's because you're from up north, mate. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's Brighton, lads. We've been fine out there in like, you know, like a little suede jacket uh, and some like, you know, corduroy trousers, you know. I've been to Brighton a good few times <laughs> and it has never been warm. We used to uh, play and then we'd stay in the hotel and we'd have to do recovery in the sea. <laughs> On the Pebble Beach, oh, the infamous Pebble Beach. The Pebble Beach and we'd just see how far out we could get before one of us either went blue or passed out. <laughs> it was... Uh, Nicole Manyo, love from Kenya for Eric Malou. And Sandra Zembi, woo! She's liking the goalkeepers as well. <laughs> it's a hot goalkeeper union today. It's Danny good, Atherton in the box here with me. I've got to say, it's a good job there's no cameras in there. The commentary booth over there is the... Yeah, that's the next step. <laughs> good pressure from Yamaguchi. Oh, and the referee's just got in the way. That's great defending from the ref. Good pressure from Boyson, chasing it all the way back. Javier just dancing around the edge of the box and inside that area there, trying to play out from the back. Is a, a risky way of playing, but if you do it right, it's very, very nice on the eye. Maybe you can beat that press. Just looking down there, 12 nationalities in the squad today, Danny. The academy really does track players from everywhere. Yeah, I got confused then. I didn't realise you said squad. I thought you had 12 different nationalities in the starting 11. That was uh, <laughs> well, really a weird one. I'm going to update you on that at the next break. Sanchez, he's got Boyson outside him. Carlson, if you can stay on side, there's Carlson. Oh. Just couldn't get to it. A great ball just across that six yard box there. Big Toby just can't quite get there. Oh, I think it's he's just got to throw himself at it there and just hope he gets something on the end of it. He's a so, good lad, Toby. I've had, had many a dinner with him. Don't really see him very often, but we have sat down and had a good few chats about different things. Nine nationalities in that starting lineup. There's nothing like summing it up by saying different things. But anyway, there we go. Well, Nine nationalities, Danny, in that starting lineup. Oh. Um, I, one of them I don't know, but so I'm going to give him a different one. So that's nine. 
<laughs> I haven't got a, uh, one for Omar Sanchez, but let's pretend he's from somewhere else, and that's nine. Oh. He's oh, yeah, I know him. <laughs> All right. He's an, he's an American, American, Mexican, and Danny now says he knows him. So, yeah. so it's eight or nine. Hey, I've got an awful memory. I, I can't, though. Well, you, got, that you showed that this minute ago when you couldn't remember the other team in Merseyside, the blue one. Oh, no. He's Colombian. Oh, no, he's Colombian. He's Colombian now. Oh, we've got a few then. And I didn't have a Colombian, so... Oh. Peterson. Oh, it's broken well for... Carlson it just can bring it down and he's done well. Oh. And he's elbowed the guy rather theatrically there. And he's yellow carded straight away. I'm not sure about that. A little bit. He's actually got possession of the ball though. It's a little cuddling, they're all friends again now. First yellow of the game goes to El Muniaca and Tobias Carlson. And Darren Horseman is a fan of Danny Atherton. He just says no one remembers the blue part of Merseyside <laughs> on Facebook. Challenging myself trying to translate these uh, Spanish comments on the YouTube. Do a lot quicker than me. I have to like stick them in the translator and uh, thank you for that. I wonder if there's an app that does it automatically for me. But anyway, there we go. Oh. Braden's been there to uh, save me a good few times with the translations. And Braden, he spent five, three years in York as well, up north, so he knows what the cold's like as well. Yeah. So over the halfway mark in the first half, 27 minutes. Apart from a yellow card from Carlson, not a lot really happening so far. Both teams really trying their best to just play with the ball at the feet and not try and shell any long balls too far. And Machetta River Denira, hello from Connecticut, USA. So, Connecticut, USA, round about. Five hours, so what we're around about seven in the morning, seven, eight in the morning, just waking up, coffee on, Al Munaka on the telly. What better way to say hello to Connecticut? So, Machada, let us know who you're supporting, and we'll give them a shout out for you. Just a corner now for Al Munaka. See if we can muster up a chance here. Taylor James will be up there for this. The big centre back we'll be looking for. And it's uh, Louis Me coming across to take it. I'd love to know where they all get their haircuts from. I went two months without a haircut. <laughs> I think it's going to be an in swing at the near post. It's gone long. Keeper's done well, getting a punch to it. He's done very well. Something that they spend a lot of time on in Spain. Punching. Punching. Learning how yeah. to punch. Oh. It's, uh, can be quite frustrating sometimes, but it's a good quality to have. But not at the expense of catching it. Yeah. So one loom right going turn. across for the corner. <laughs> Training ground move. Louis me. Probably did better at training ground doing that move, otherwise I wouldn't have played it. 
Going to be a try and go early, but Pedersen cuts, cuts it out. Malou. Nice close up for the uh, the handsome goalkeeper for you there. Allegedly. Yeah, alle definitely allegedly after the close up. <laughs> Each to their own, I suppose. Absolutely. I might mention it before. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ah, Macheda, your son is going to El Muniaca in January. His name is Gerard. He played for Malaga FC New York. Excellent. That's the extension of the family. That is the FC Malaga City Academy. But in New York, there's a few other places opening up in the USA. And so we look forward to welcoming, welcoming your Gerard to El Muniaca in January. Very well there. Cleaned up, lovely. Good defending. Great defending. Uh, and Tony Williams, that's actually my old Sunday League manager. Well, coach, manager, one of the two. Have you been taking oh, elocution sorry, lessons? Gabby is just coming oh. forward. An opportunity opened up. And Odell's right. there to clear it well. And great parried save. away, makes a note come in, and then there's a foul on him there. It's a great save from Dallas. Just holds his feet really well, doesn't gamble. Gets it right out that danger zone. Taylor James just caught from behind there. Good move from Gabby across, man in space. And the Bobbles just took it, took it just away from the player there. Made it a bit more difficult, but Dallas has done really well there to keep that clean sheet intact. Yeah, so Tony Williams, he's one of my old coaches. Have I been taking elocution lessons, Dan? Your yicker accent is very watered down in commentary. <laughs> well, for anyone that doesn't know, a yicker is someone that is from Haydock, and I am from Haydock, so I am a born and bred yicker. And I've had to water it down, Tony, because not many people would be able to understand me if I didn't. And is that Haydock as in the infamous, or the famous Haydock races? Yes, it is. There and I've are. actually never been to the races. I live, I've lived five minutes away from it all my life and I've never been. Well, it's another little one to uh, add to your bucket list. And here comes Busson. It's going to keep it in. Oh, uh, the orange boots just didn't it. give him the speed he needed then. But Tony, thank you for being online and watching in, supporting one of your protégés from years before. It was actually under Tony that uh, I got put in goal. Was it under Tony? No, it was under Sean, actually. So Sean and Tony, they, they they come as a pair, Sean and Tony. My uh, my primary school best friend's parents, actually. That's who they are, that's how I know them. Excellent stuff. Pokey, Namajebo, let's go, boys. I had you on the bench at one point, Pokey, but you're not anymore. <laughs> but I was going to say, you get your phone on the bench, but you're not. I'll let you off. You are on the bench. I got you down as on the that, bench. That's not Polky, that's Pomwene. Pomwene. That's what I got down as he's as Pokey's first name. Oh is it? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just allowed to call him Pokey, because it's a lot easier. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the uh, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I can't quite translate that one. Buena transición, sigan adelante. Not sure what that means. Good, yeah. I'm not good transition, something, something. Keep going. Ah, beat you to it, Braden. So, Braden. Not only on the camera, we got him in our ear as well, so we can use him. But Eric Malou goes on a good run now. Ah, it's just a good tackle there, just to stop that attack. Yeah. Polky is Pomwene. Yeah, yeah, See, he's on the bench. Polky is Pomwene. See, I do get some things right. <laughs> no, he's not on the bench, apparently. He's not on the bench. He was on my list, but anyway, my list is not normally. 100% right, so we're okay. Uh, yeah. 
Sanchez back well there to clear the danger. So Macheta River Dinieria did say, now we translated it, good transition, keep going. I think she's talking about on the pitch rather than between me and you, Danny. Yeah. Khalid, Belafid, doing well Ooh. there, getting it forward, and that was some high boots. Gonna keep a deal with that. Boyson was nice and enthusiastic, is what I'd like to say. Pedersen. Players just stayed down for that down. challenge. So having a chat with the linesman. Oh, another In little roll. In between screams. <laughs> so, you know, you said you played a little bit of rugby league when you were younger. Can you imagine this kind of in rugby league? Would it be allowed, Danny? Because uh, it's not allowed in union. No, I don't think you'd actually finish a game. But uh, there's not much in that either. I think uh, he's holding uh, the wrong foot as well. Yeah, Danny, <laughs> when you say there's not much in there, there's nothing in that. I don't like to sit on the bench too much. There's nothing in that. <laughs> Just overpowers him on the side there. Oh, he's all right now. That's a relief. I thought the sniper from the stand had got him. Boyson up well. Sanchez. Louis me. James. One Lou. Louis Mee's got Malou inside him. Oh, good ball inside. Ball. Ah, and the flag's gone up. Bella Feed was just offside, but a really good run. Things starting to open up a little bit more now. People starting to break into more beneficial areas. That must have been close. Oh, Matt's cleaning up there again, just doing what he does best. <laughs> just actually turned my microphone off there, just a little bit there. Still getting used to this. Well, you're natural, mate. It's perfect. Just a nice little foul throw there, again, not picked up. You uh, don't often it, pick them up. Yeah, there's a lot of them that happen. It seems as if it's a part of the game that Spain aren't too worried about. Sanchez, enthusiastic, giving the free kick away, about 40 yards out. Yeah, holding his hand, just pulling him back. Just a little tug, just a little pull back there. Oh, the oh they've gone early. Going to the line to pull it back. Boyson's done really well. Yeah. Adel just got his hand to it. And it's coming back. Is he going long range? And wide again. Coming inside. He's got plenty too much space there. He's going again inside. James clears. Just a bit pinball in the middle there. Yeah, so it's a good cross and Dallas does really well just to get a hand on it there. It's just out of his reach to be able to catch it. Gets it right out that danger area. So Gabio come again. Oh, he's hurt himself. Shouldn't laugh at any point. You don't never know how bad it is. It just seemed to get a lot worse with each step that he took there. 
but he's all right now. Yeah, oh, oh, so it comes from nowhere, but you, you never know with the pitches that you play on. Could have done anything there. And Gebbia going quick with it again. Pulled it back. Oh, he's unlucky there. Just couldn't bring it under control, so he's cleared. But they're picking up all the 50-50s on the edge of the box. Getting deeper. Deflections work. It's cleared again. Malou back helping inside to Louis Me. Malou. Nice turn. He's done very well there. Peterson and Louis Me clears the line. Something for Boyson and Carlson to chase down. But it's back to the keeper. Yeah, it's just a good clearance there just to give the defenders in the back four just a, a bit of a rest there, a bit of a scrappy period for them the past couple of minutes. A few chances for Gabia. But they can uh, relax a bit now. Last five minutes of the first half. Malou. Peterson. He just caught on the ball there, but unfairly, says the ref. Like I said, it's just starting to open up a bit more now. It's just a little bit late there. Not too, it doesn't, doesn't look like there's too much in it. I think Max actually tries to carry on playing there, but the, the ref spotted something that the rest of us didn't, so... Free kick where we get an opportunity to put it in the box. Carlson, Bella feed. Yamaguchi. Taylor James all up there, dipping it over. And Taylor James couldn't get on the end, and there's Boyson. And the flag's up, but they're playing on. Yamaguchi, and now the ref's in the flag from early doors. And nothing came from that. The ref just explaining that he hadn't seen it. Yeah, it's a great, great initial delivery there now. And it's just the touch that he takes, it just uh, just puts it into the path of our number seven. Who's that? Yeah, just not sure. He might have just been online there, but he did look offside when it was live. But uh, we're back on the way here now. Jeremiah Musamali, live from Kemia, Eric Malou. Remember that name, we will. Jeremiah, thank you for being online with us, watching today. Juan Lu. He's wide, coming forward. It's Louis Me. Long range shot, open the catch, the keeper out. Not going to work. It's ambitious, but anything can happen with them balls. You never know where the ball's going to bounce, especially on a grass pitch. Anything can happen. I know it's happened to me before. It just takes a dodgy bobble and the keeper could spill it and they just follow it in. But it's safe hands from the keeper, from the yeah. handsome goalkeeper there. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we had that this morning in the first game. Keeper spilled it and there was CC to open the scoring 1-0. And then the rest of the game seemed to be the ploy. Kick it, hit it at the keeper to see if he was going to spill it. But unfortunately, no more fruition from it. Peterson bringing it out back to Yamaguchi. As the social media for LDP starts rolling in. He's in the later game. Last, it's going up the last couple of minutes. Last minute of the first half. James, Yamaguchi, Peterson. Just important now just to make sure you get into half time without conceding a goal. If you can nip one late on in the half, then fantastic. But really important to keep that clean sheet intact. Obviously, you can't lose a game if you don't concede a goal. Well, as the great Bill Shanky from your team said, remember, you start off as nil nil, just don't make it any worse. Louis Meat 
No understanding on the run there as the 45 comes up. Oh, nice turn inside. Oh, trying to get Carlson through. No pressing. But there's some pressing. And all the way back to Peterson. James. Oh, missed Peterson completely, misunderstanding. He's got some defending to do now. It's the danger zone just before half time, as we were saying. Sanchez Ooh. came across. Nothing. Peterson picks it up, brings it forward. Carlson brings it down well. Trying to get Boyce, and he's got the pace in behind. He's one on one. Oh, and keeper's done actually really well there. Keeper's done well there, just to, just to set just in time. And there goes half time. Just have another look at this here. Tries to take it early. Defender does well just to force him wide, and the keeper closes all the angles brilliantly. It's a very good stop. So the story at half time. Not going to bring you any chances because there wasn't any. So CD Almany Naka City nil, Gabby CF nil. And as we do at half time, this is our opportunity to bring you some of the sponsors and the partners that are making these streams available to you. So we will back to you in about 10 minutes. There'll be more from Danny Atherton. organization wants to empower girls through sports to be their best selves. We started out solely focused on the benefit of physical activity and sport for health and we wanted to know how we might then connect sport to another outcome. That's when we endeavored to introduce STEM for the very first time. STEM in general is underrepresented just like 
many sports in terms of women representation. We want to empower these girls to not only you know play hard and go far in sports, but also in these underrepresented areas of STEM as well. As female athletes, we need to learn. The earlier you learn it, figure it out, the better you will be on the end. Girls my age need to meet women in STEM because that sometimes they might just want to learn stuff about STEM and want to do it too. They might want to do what they're doing. The idea of Play Like a Girl is about confidence, empowerment, but then incorporating the element of play, which I think is probably most important. She got to hear from doctors, she got to hear from women in sports, she got to hear from businesswomen. So having females in these roles now allow girls to say, I could be that person, I could be that coach, I could be that player, and I think it's amazing. One day I was going to have a family, and now that I do have a family, I have a daughter that looks up to me, and I have to teach her the day you quit is the day that everybody else looks past you. STEM can open many, many opportunities for our girls, and so we focus on providing for them the opportunity to see unlimited possibilities. The truth is that just because somebody else doesn't see the future for you doesn't mean that the future isn't there for you to get. STEM opens the world to girls who many of them have never been outside of their neighborhoods. You don't have to be a professional sport or even play sports in college to gain your self-confidence. I think just playing a sport, doing one of these camps, going to play like a girl programs, all those programs help you learn self-confidence. Studies have shown that girls are two times more likely to drop out of sports at the age of 13 than boys. And we want to we want to shatter that number. We want girls to continue to play sports. Our hope is that as they grow in their confidence, as they learn new skills, as they learn how to, whether they're learning how to code or playing kickball, or that they are growing in confidence, that they are realizing that they can do whatever it is they want to do, they can go as far as they want to go, whether they are the only girl in the room or not. I play like a girl. 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 What drama we have here? It's about to play off. Let's show the way. Oh. It's just another super goal. Welcome back everybody pitch side. England have won this one 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, they have completed the greatest of comebacks. Oh. <laughs> Back in Sri Lanka, I didn't go to school. I didn't know any English when I got here. People made fun of how I talked, the way I dressed, the way I carried myself. In Syria, everything was so different. Some days I feel so much pressure. I get so angry sometimes. I come to practice and take it all out on the road. Girls don't do sports where I'm from. We're supposed to cook, clean, pray. It's not even safe for girls to go outside and play where I'm from. Isolation. Discrimination. Culture shock. 
Pressure. Violence. Stereotypes. Anger. But we're not gonna let... Welcome back to the Almaniaca Stadium here in, strangely enough, Almaniaca. And uh, still here, thankfully, joined by Danny Atherton. Yep. Danny, what are the first thoughts on what wasn't the scintillating first half? No, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the most entertaining to watch, but I think it's two teams with the same similar, a similar kind of mindset to how they want to play. And... Uh, they're both trying the best to play like that. You see a couple of opportunities where Gabi had a playing out from the back and they're just playing one-twos with the keeper inside their own penalty area. Uh, that could be a good opportunity there for Armin Yeka to just nick a goal. Uh, but you see Armin Yeka still just keeping the ball. You've got Max Peterson in just in front of that defence, just winning the ball back and keeping the ball for him. Good save in the first half from Dallas as well. So. Uh, it seems like it has the potential to be a very good game. We we'll just see what the second half's got in store for us now. Yeah, waiting for it to um, really break out. And there's the man you talk about, Dallas. I'd say he's better looking than the um, than the Gabia keeper. So those comments from earlier. Yeah, it's up for debate. It's going to be up for debate. Trying to find who was it. Santiago. Santiago, that was it. Yeah, Santiago. Like the good-looking keeper. We got our own version. Well, we got two of them. One on commentary, one on co-coms. And then we've got Dallas in front of us as well. It just doesn't get much better than that. Oh, and we've got the, guy, the other, the other oh, Gabby. Oh, God, Brandon got Miller on, on camera. And, <laughs> and Gabby, the other keeper, kicking the ball at us. Oh, Gabriel Mendoza, the other Goal, keeper. Goalkeeper central here today. Oh. I heard they're the most good-looking, intelligent, charming people you can meet. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that comment, but... <laughs> there we go, that'll do then. It works for me. So, so Danny, you, you had uh, you were out there just as COVID and everything else kind of hit, and, and then you were back. How has it affected you in trying to get all your game time in? Uh, well, uh, I didn't actually end up playing any games, so uh, you have to have something called an international clearance to be able to play in the league games and stuff like that. So I managed to play in a couple of friendlies, but... My clearance uh, actually just come just come through last Wednesday, and then obviously I've been called up for a trial with the London club. So just keep my fingers crossed and see how that goes. And then if it doesn't go too well for me, then I'll be back over in Spain and get get cracking and start up properly. Get some January. game time. Yeah. And then is it, is it? Is it oh, try that again. Will this season be kind of like, you know, it's just will the opportunities come again during this, this season or will it be a case of waiting to the, uh, you know, another pre-season? Yeah, in my case, it's just sort of getting as much game time as I can and improving from playing games as much as I can. Obviously, I've not had a lengthy amount of game time over the past couple of years. It's been just training and playing academy level and stuff like that. So I just want to try and get as many senior games as I can under my belt, whatever level that is. And... If I can get that there at Malaga City, then I'll do that. But let's just see what comes of this trial at the moment. I think it's going really well for me, so I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. And just on that note, just for the people that don't know, uh, your previous experience academy-wise, that's all with uh, Liverpool. And so we were talking about just one side of uh, Merseyside. And so you spent, I think I was listening to your... Uh, Instagram um, post with George the other day and you've uh, been there since you were 12 and been working through the ranks? Yeah, at 11, so I signed at Liverpool when I was 11 and then worked my way up through the academy system and played for every age group and played two friendlies for the first team, so it was a lengthy nine years at Liverpool but the time was right to 
try and extend my career and now I'm just obviously COVID shut a lot of things down and have closed a lot of opportunities for me so it's now just trying to get back into them and trying to get as many more opportunities as I can so I can get my career back on the right path. And you, you said before there's a lot of difference between a training keeper and a gamekeeper. Yeah. Um, and one of the things I was, you know, mentioned on the uh, the commentary when we talked on here is the ability to keep your concentration when it's you know like all up the other end all the time, and you don't get that through training. You only get that through match time. Yeah, of course, at training you 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 don't really you do have to concentrate constantly, but it's not sort of like intense concentration for 90 minutes. You train for 90 minutes to two hours, and you you get rest. You can have a drink break every 15, 20 minutes, and it's well broken up in a game you've got to be focused from the first whistle to the last whistle and you can't let it slip or you end up costing your team goals and costing them points in the league and I want to get used to doing that and I want to play some games so one I can prove that I can do that and I have got the ability to do uh, to do that and I've got the ability to perform at a higher level and then start to work my way up from there. So also so when you go on these trials you know you go for a trial uh, it, it's a training keeper again they're looking at but I mean, you know, it's, I suppose with COVID at the moment, there's not that many games. Do you think it's better to be playing and get noticed even if it's out in Malaga, Spain, you know, when, when you're, you know, trying to, you know, English keeper trying to make it over here um, and just hope you get noticed or is the kind of like, you know, the, the, the scouting network good enough that wherever you're playing, you're going to get noticed? Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a, uh, you've got to, play well whenever you get the opportunity and just have your fingers crossed that people watch especially stuff like this this live streaming and stuff like that is fantastic for all the players and uh, it would be great for me to be able to play on that you never know who's watching but obviously you've got to have a good a good group of people working with you and behind you to try and get you the opportunities that you might not be able to get just on your own so you've got to be able to you've got to have the right balance of everything and obviously when you get them opportunities and when the right people are watching you've got to be able to perform so those much maligned agents that we earn, that we here earning, you know, millions a week, without them, you're not going to get those opportunities and those chances. Yeah, well, I've not actually got an agent that I'm signed with, so um, I'm, I do a lot of uh, networking by myself. I do a lot of work and I do speak to agencies and I've got a couple of agents that I'm good friends with that are helping me out at the minute and I may potentially sign with them in the future, but it's just good to have them connections and that network and I think by building it up myself as well it's good for me to have them for my career in the future and if I can help someone else then I can help someone else as well with the connections that I make so it's good to have sounds good sounds good well the referee is now out into the in the middle as it looks like we're about to get underway for the second half and we have got fingers crossed that we are on for a better second half with a few more chances and mainly goals from the team in white. Okay, referee has counted. He's happy that everybody is there. Signal to the keeper. And have a look at his watch. Another signal. And we're off. Okay. All to play for in the second half. Who is me? Peterson. Yamaguchi. Clearing long. Looking for Boyson. That's a good there from Juan Lu. Sanchez. Bella Feed. Right foot in the middle. Going to use the pace of Bradley Boyson on the wing. A man from South Africa. Just good pressure, just keeping them inside their own half and broke through here. Sanchez. Ah, oh, well done. Kept well. Boyson. Sanchez, Boyson, nice little triangle playing out, beating the press. Again, keep hold of it there. Looking for 
Carlson down the middle. This is him, but Malou's in. He's got Carlson in the middle, he's gone for him early. Oh. Just over the back one, Lou, but Carlson definitely couldn't go over that one. So first opportunity of the second half comes to El Minaka. Yeah, it's just a decent ball over that top, the diagonal pass, just to try and break that line of defence. Just got a touch on it there, just to take the pace off it and slow the play down a bit, the way the Gabby defence. Lou comes forward. Oh, nice little touch, Boyson. Was he offside? It's Luis me all the way across. Sorry, there's Boyson to keep it in. Looked like a little late challenge on him there as he put the ball through. But there's that chance from earlier. There's uh, just that long diagonal ball just across the defence. Just gets a touch on it there and just slows it down a little bit and passes him away from goal. But uh, Toby just couldn't get, didn't quite time his run right there. But uh, it's the first opportunity and it's looking positive so far. Yeah. Rikali, Mangadi, Go Malou. As the Eric Malou crowd support starts coming in on the social media. Don't forget we're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. So wherever you're watching us, send us a message. And as we always want to hear from you, we're sending you big love from Alminaka and we want hear from you so we can give you a shout out it's the but same ball again that diagonal ball and it's Boyson through one on one with the keeper played it across and it's falling for Carlson now you've just done very well there to recover it and he took a little bit knock there but that was good play similar again what we've seen earlier that diagonal ball across the defence well timed and well met by the uh, our number seven there and he just drives and he's done very well to get that ball across but the keeper's dealt with it and recovered quite well. Same time Yamaguchi is clearing at the back. Now Manaka, Peterson's back. Up the run inside. Good tackle. Good on the ball. Played really well there. <laughs> free kick yes. I'm leave this to no nope. Yamaguchi's gonna have it but we're gonna disappear upfield there for Dallas there it goes back we're using Dallas have some options not the flat as the grounds there so you don't want to take a chance Malou can't keep it in well, you might not notice from that kick, but that's actually his weaker foot there, his left foot. It's a good strike with his uh, less strengthened foot. Is that, is that the phrase? That doesn't no, make sense, does it? I know what you meant. His weaker foot might be a bit better. Well, if, if you know, I mean, if you know what I meant. Me. Yeah. If you know what I meant, it worked he's, then, didn't it? Yeah. He's <laughs> not so good foot. Yeah. You know. Well, when Dallas watches it back, I try to give him a compliment and I've been shut down, so... Yeah, no, no, it's fine. That's not me. <laughs> like trying to, he's not so good sister, you know, when you're trying to be polite about the good-looking one. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> Malou's done really well there. And he's picked up a free kick as well, so it's a good chance for us to get the big boys up front again. We have got a few big lads in that team. Big Toby there. Sure he could rise above a few of these defenders and hopefully get us a shot on target. Taylor James and Yamaguchi also going up and Bella feed. Peterson, he looks a big lad himself. He's hanging back there. Yeah, Peterson's he's, he's good in the air, Max. He's uh, a bit confusing that he stayed back, but. Juan Lu with a little chip over. Yamaguchi just missed it. Going to get some his boots on to get back. Gabby are clear. Sanchez, and there is Peterson. Ushering the guy to the floor. And he gives a nice little uh, demonstration there of what he thought happened. Yeah, there's. It's a, it is a foul. The, the ball is getting away from him. He's, had, he's used his elbow into his ribs. But it's a, it's a decent impression from him, though. <laughs> yeah. But he was off the pitch, so surely it doesn't matter, does it? Anyway. 
<laughs> and uh, Omar Sanchez and the Gabby players having a really good chat about it there, and they go quick and short. Good cross, just flipped on by James at near post. Overhead, nothing coming of it. And there's Carlson back there, defending well. Just got shrugged off lines. the ball there. But although Toby's a big lad there, number 10 is also <laughs> a bit of a unit. Going along for that flick on at the near post. James is there. And there Carlson again. Sanchez, Yamaguchi. Trying to stop the cross coming in. Peterson coming inside, getting the touch. One loop. But Gabby is still running it. But Yamaguchi clears. You've got to find a white shirt when we clear to try and break the pressure up. And that's going to be Dallas has come excellent for that ball. It's well read from Dallas. You know, he's seen it early and he's uh, took his step into the space early on. It's good goalkeeping. James. Peterson sits in the middle there. Tries to pull the strings from there, but he hasn't got that many options when he's getting the ball. Sanchez injecting some pace. He's got Boyson down the line. He's got some pace on him, and I think has he won the corner? He has. Yes, he's given. Excellent. Thought that was a goal kick myself, but we'll take what we can get. Another opportunity to get the ball in the box here and try and get some. Uh, Try and work this goalkeeper a bit more. Not really seen much of him since uh, that one-on-one -on -one save that he made in the first half. We've more talked to him about his good looks than his save so far. Yeah, there has. And I, I don't know which comments I'd be happier with, to be fair. <laughs> I'd take both. A good-looking goalkeeper that's making good saves. There we go. <laughs> Louis me with the corner. Left-footed in the swing up. You can see they're all bunched in at the near post, so I wonder where this is going to go. And Peterson... It's been spoken to by the referee. Bit of a mismatch there and in the uh, defensive department from Gabio with a number four defending Max. There's at least a foot in that. <laughs> and and there's, a, there's a foot and a half in the, the, the six on the post. And Carlson's got a nice arm round him to keep him company. And there is the in-swinger. Keeper's done really well getting a punch on that. And Gabio clear and we go all the way back is that a free kick to Gabby there? yeah just one lead decided that that was his running track Yamaguchi Carlson Oh, oh, Bella Fayed was just caught there and the sniper in the stand also got him. I think he's been the busiest man today, the sniper in the stand. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's took out a few of the Gabia players. A few of our players. Sanchez pressing Yamaguchi. It's good overlap from Gabia. Got the cross coming in. Turned inside. Nothing comes of it. Peterson clears, but doesn't find a white shirt. But Carlson gets on the end of it. Now he's got Boyson, and he's taken out. But we're going back. We're not too worried about Carlson falling over. We're going back to our players on the floor. Hope it's not too serious. I'm not rolling, writhing <laughs> around, which tells you that it's probably more serious than ones that are rolling everywhere. Gabby is holding his head and his leg. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a case of who gets up first. Yeah, and the physios not rushing. Vic Victor, rush. Big Victor is rushing on there. Well, you are <laughs> telling you know paramedics never run, <laughs> right? They don't need to turn up to you out of breath, and Victor's just taking a, a leaf out of their book. Nice leisurely stroll from Victor over there. Yeah, it still bends. 
It's great work from Victor. <laughs> Let's hope he's all right. Yeah, that's the professional medic there, Victor. Still bends, go on, you can stand up. There's one loop. He's going to go off and uh, have the magic sponge treatment. It's a nice opportunity, don't forget. We're sending you big love from Almanaca. We want to hear from you. So tell us where you're watching, who you're talking, who you're, who you're watching, who you're supporting. Oh, Yamaguchi just spun there, but he wins the free kick. If you are watching, don't forget Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, message us and we'll give you a shout out as well. We know at the moment we're live in Kenya. We're live in Hertfordshire. Home of Tyrell's Crisps. Fun Tyrell's, fact. I thought it was Tyrell's. Tyrell's. I'm, I'm sticking with Tyrell's. Okay. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> A nice flick round there, Sanchez. One loop, trying to find Carlson. Gabby are clear again. They break, but Hermanek have got the numbers. Yamaguchi, in him to the line. Yamaguchi. One loop, back up and running, seems good. Back to the keeper, Dallas, he clears upfield, looking for Carlson. Nice plays, one loop, looking for the run of Boyson, but left him short, Boyson's got all that pace. I'm not using it. Gabby will come again. Oh, that's a good turn. Malou coming back, Bella feed. Good pressing. Sanchez. There's Boyson. That's a give and go. Use your pace. Just looking for support. Peterson, well played there. Louis Me, Malou. It's oh, got Carlson in the middle. middle. He's uh, offside. Should have been given early. Better feet. Sanchez. Good cross in the middle. Oh, I've missed everybody, unfortunately. So Malou chases it down, try and keep him pinned in their half. Still good pressing from Almunaka. Every time Almunaka drive into that middle third of the pitch, that switch is always on. If they can, if they can get their uh, heads up and spot that pass, then we're in with a good chance. We've just had a message off uh, George. Big hey, George Jeremy, he's asking, am I on cold comms all day? Yeah, mate, I'm on all day. So uh, you have to give me something uh, exciting to talk about this we, afternoon, mate. The big cheese, El, El, El Jefe. Jefe. El Jefe. El Jefe, the big cheese, George <laughs> Jeremy. The man behind, the man, the brain behind the whole brand, the mission, everything that you see out here, everything that is a one of a type of experience, the FC. Malaga City Academy, players from over 35 countries, six continents. Opportunity to be immersed in the life of a professional player for 10 months in the state-of-the-art facilities. UEFA A and Pro licensed coaches. And we've already heard our man Danny Atherton, who's been through the Liverpool Academy as well, telling us it's the place to play. Yeah, it's a, it's a great place. It's well thought up and well run by George and uh, Amelia. And uh, Amelia will be happy. I've given a little shout out there. George is also an half decent left back when he wants to be. And uh, I'm sure we'll see that this afternoon. Looking forward to that. And Harumi Yamaguchi, see that go boy supporting the team from Malaysia. And Malaysia to my list of where we are around the world today. Thank you, Harumi. 
Remember the boys, watch this back. And always listening. There's nothing better than having your name mentioned and knowing your family and friends are supporting you. Is that another player down? Yeah, I think it's the same one. And let's watch Victor rush on again. I was say, we're now going to have a... Is... <laughs> Can we just get an extra cam and just keep it on Victor for the full game? Yeah. I think that would be that'd be great. I think I'd forget where I was injured by the time he got to me. Yeah. He's actually... It was broke when it started, but it's healed by the time Victor's got there. Uh. <laughs> just a rub on the shoulder. Can you bend it? Have a drink of water. There we read. There, Tony Williams, there's me yicker accent coming out. You'll be reet. It's the... <laughs> slipped up a bit there. Ah, uh, it's good. The real Danny Atherton. Oh, helping hand from the Gabia player. Uh, camaraderie of the team there. As we... Now into the last half hour of the game. And Juan Lu saying to Franco, can you do anything else for me? And he just walks off. Obviously he's been substituted. He's been substituted as Charles Marmont that has come on for Juan Lu. As there's oh, it's Big Charlie. Big Charlie, he's otherwise uh, known as Danny's going, who's that? But, ah, oh, big Charlie. Yeah, yeah. But it is a break. The keeper comes out, but the defender takes it off Carlson's toes. He was part of the uh, FC Malaga senior team. He's uh, transferred over to the Almunica team now. He was also part of that futsal game, the only game that I was involved in on a live stream. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The futsal game. That, Up uh, in was Frigliani. Live yeah. I was uh, in goal for the second half of that. That rings a bell, actually. Yeah, yeah. Danny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was our first, yeah, the Malaga. So that was our first um, first futsal game as well. Got some messages for Danny. Yeah, big Jake up there. Danny, you sipping a Red Bull by any chance? No, mate, I told you, I only drink Red Bull when I'm in Spain because there's no Lucas Aids. <laughs> James Dawes as well. How many Red Bulls have you had today? I've had no Red Bulls. <laughs> Zero Red Bulls. James Bedores from SR USA and the Malaga Academy and Jacob Thompson, who we will be seeing later today. But he won't be, is he? I won't tell you if he's starting or not, because I don't know if the team's been given out. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how early in the day they told the team. So Jacob Thompson, who will be seeing in action for FC Malaga City later today. Yes. As Gabia attack down the left. Sanchez does really well. Bit of inside information, the lads from the Malaga senior team are actually outside of the stadium here in uh, Al Munyaka, trying to get a glimpse of the football while they wait to travel for their game. And that was a good stop by Dallas. Oh, we're just talking about that. You see that again. All stolen off. One Lou there. Nice turn. Yeah, it's well stopped by Dallas. He's parried it out. Yeah, it's not into the best of areas into the middle of the pitch, but it's with enough pace that it's not really going to fall to anyone and give another opportunity. So another good stop there by Dallas. Keeping that clean sheet intact. Gabby go all the way back. And then clear aimlessly up to us. Each team really just trying to put get a grip on the game and neither managing to do that at the moment. Peterson, Sanchez, back to Taylor James. It does have the potential to be a very exciting game. It's just once we get into that final third and Gabby are getting to the finals third, it's not quite much comes from it. Malou chasing down there really well, but... Good defending, and they've Gabby have cleared their ranks again. And, uh, it's the first time I've seen uh, this Malou play. I, I 
I quite like him at the moment, actually. Just the way when he loses the ball, his, his initial reaction isn't to moan, isn't to wave his arms around. He's straight back on it. He's, as you see there, he's fell over, and by the time the other lads got up, he's sprinting back, breathing down his neck, trying to win the ball back. That's something that you can't really coach. Something you've got to have naturally. Gabby again, far corner, cleared, and that's gone up in the air. Steve Hodge style, but Dallas has done well to get out there and punch it. And then we've cleared again. Luckily, it was Dallas's hand on the end of it. He's using the Spanish techniques that he's learned to get the ball out of the danger zone and not risk trying to catch it. See, I've got a few years on you, Danny. I know it's probably difficult for people on the stream to understand that, but um, as I come across so youthful. But, and in my days playing in goal, we never, ever were we taught to punch. It was so much the last result. I mean, I can it, do understand now why you do sometimes, but yeah, it was really last resort. It's a different, it's obviously different perspectives from different parts of the world. And in Spain, it's a, it's a technique that's used quite a lot. And uh, it is something that they do focus quite a lot on during games because there are a lot, there are opportunities where punching the ball is necessary when you can't catch it. The only pet hate I have, I've not got a problem with punching the ball, but the only pet hate I have with is it. Oh, no, it's just gone out for a goal kick. Uh, my only pet hate is the double-handed punch. Because, in my opinion, if you can reach it with two hands, you can catch it. So, Absolutely. I agree with that completely. And Antonio Miguel Jimenez Manos Tradis translate. Unfortunately not. <laughs> it's an English commentary, and we will bring you variations of everybody's language from around the world. You've just got to try and pick it out. And James Dawes. Much better comment there. Fantastic job on commentary, lads. There we go. No need to translate that one. Merrick Malou. Oh, he's doing well there, but straight into the uh, subs bench. And he picked up the free kick. You know, it's, as you were saying, Danny, lots of energy. Yeah. Oh, and he just does a little sit down there as well. And the Probably just recharging his batteries, he hasn't stopped all game. There is me with the free kick. So, yellow cut up for the Gabia player, probably for a bit of descent. That's one each, Tobias Russ. Here's me setting himself, going back. Uh, James Yamaguchi looking to build, as Danny was saying earlier. The idea throughout the club is to build from the black back and play football. It's about development. Results are important, but it's about the development of players and teams. Once again, unfortunately, nothing comes from there. It's a very frustrating game, and I think it, it must start to be frustrating the players on the pitch as well. So uh, we see them all just trying to force it a bit more now and try, and try and get that opportunity that they need. But he's lost the ball there on the halfway. Gavia coming forward. Luis Me that lost out there. We're back in numbers. Good through ball. Nothing comes from it again. Miss, misses Melman. And again, you just see from Max there, it's just a little bit of frustration creeping in where we're not getting many opportunities, so he's tried to wrap that ball out wide nice and early on when he could uh, he could easily have taken a touch, but uh, it's moments in the game and it's just about the decisions and what you see when you're on that pitch. Yeah, another foul throw there. I'm not sure. <laughs> They get an opportunity now to get a shot off. It's 
great defence there, just forcing him wide. And they can clear the lines now. It's cleared. And Gabby will... Well, I think they're going for a, a free kick. Just another, He's putting it back. Another frustrating period there, just for the other team now. Just Gabia, just in and around that box, trying to get a shot off, but not quite being able to muster up a chance. But uh, it's just a game full of, really full of half chances at the moment. And here he is again. The most entertaining part of the game so far. The physio onto the pitch. Victor Franco, not yep. at the, uh, once again, not at the top speed, but his job's there is to make sure. Well, to be fair to him, he isn't a physio, but yeah, he's uh, he's one of the coaching staff and does a lot of work in the back room. And the substitution is going to be made. Jason Lee, wearing 16, is going to be coming on. So Jason Lee, who's been starting every week up until now, comes on. So I expect that was... Omar Sanchez or Luis Me that went down. Got a 30 second gremlin in our system. Just sorting itself out. And there we go, we seem to be back in. And Tobias Carlson has also come off, and Joe Montero is on up front. opportunities for him to get on the score sheet but he's done well he's held the well held the ball up well for us and hopefully now this change can just spark a bit more life into it and get us an opportunity hopefully the fresh legs will make a difference in this last 15 minutes he's turned really well there it's just a loose ball cleaned up there well and there's the legs of Jason Lee Immediately being come into the play. And uh, somebody has just come back onto the field now, there. Another substitution by the looks of it. Not sure who it was. He's back on for Malman. So, Louise Me is back on. And it's Charles... No, Malman's on there 20. We'll get to the bottom of this as the Montero's on. Eric Malou has left the scene. And Fayed Widmer, Omar the best. Fayed, also a member of the academy. Got stroke senior team. Let's just say the whole academy. Once again, lads, thanks for all of you tuning in today and supporting the team from wherever you are around the world. We're going to the last 15 minutes. Training ground manoeuvre. Cut out by Louis Me, bang back across. That's all the way through to Dallas in the goal. Nice and easy for Dallas there. It is also frustrating games like this for a goalkeeper where you are working hard and make, he's made a couple of saves to keep the clean sheet and 
It's frustrating to see not much happening at the top end of the field. So when you do get that ball, you do try and get things moving as quick as possible. And just got to make sure that he channels that in the right way and doesn't try and rush anything out. He's doing well so far. Javier yeah, coming again. And Louis Mee. It's the throw. James did well there, getting in front of his man. Now Mormon, big Charlie as he's known. And Montero's got a chance. Can he get to the keeper? Oh. The keeper's done really well there. Coming out, he really did gamble. Oh. And then uh, James and Bella Feed clash there. Yeah, it's very, very good goalkeeping. That's something that they, they do a lot in Spain. They also work on that high line and making sure they can come from them through balls. Emmanuel Nea, sweeper keeper. The replay's got a little world of its own at the moment. There we go. Montero just... Just about gets there. So close. It wouldn't be the same. We've got another man down. I think the idea is, is that you bring the sub on rather than Victor Franco, because yeah, it's quicker. Yeah. There was just a, a little collision of heads there between uh, two of our players, James and uh, the other lads. I think it was Bella Feed. Yeah, I think it was. But yeah, they've just both gone up for a bit of lack of communication there, and they've both gone up for the header. And uh, Taylor's just got a little knock on his head there. But Everything looks all right for him. But Gabby out have got a dangerous free kick here. So Dallas is putting about a, a four-man wall together. Yeah, he's just setting it up there for a, for a shot. It looks like he's going to take the shot on. I do. I, I back Dallas from this distance. It's a six man, four man wall. Are they going top bins? Straight into the wall. Nothing happening. Away it comes. Dallas wasn't even asked to be involved. Taylor James recovered from the edge injury, clears the lines. And good pressure Ooh. there. I thought it was going to fall. Boyson and Melman. Sanchez. Just frustrated again that it just didn't quite fall for them. And William Boyson. It's Gabby up. Just having five minutes of pressure. Yamaguchi keeping on the edge of the box. There's long range. It's a good ball. Well played there, Jason Lee. Now Mormon. And yeah, oh. it was offside. It just gone. And it looked quite close to be fair. I didn't think he was offside there. But we'll have another look in a minute. It's a great block there, and it's just a, a great ball. And it was Jason right Lee's ball. Charm. And, and he, does really, he does, just does really well here not to fall over the ball. Nice little footwork. Mm. And that is very, very close. We think it's close and we've got the ultra slow motion action replay. So into the last 10 minutes of what hasn't been pulsating, but interesting game so far. More of a game of chess than drafts. And Gabia, like everything else going on, we take oh the referee's having a word with two players. Let's have a little chat. Get on with it. Gabia. Go long, but Boyson picks that up. Chance to counter attack. Montero. Wide. Get around the back and just run out of space. Gabby up, I'm taking the time, it's like a set piece from the back.
Nice ball over the back, but Merman was oh. offside. Pressure. Kandai pushing on hard. Pedersen played to Melman just behind Louis Me. Back inside Peterson. Melman. Montero. Oh, he didn't. He just read it, but he didn't see it. Yeah. Just draws a free kick there, Charlie. Just trying to a, a little give and go. And the player just sort of blocks his run. Obstruction, I think, is the technical term. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> See, I know it's like having a professional in here with us today. Uh, nice letter back to the keeper. Must be his message saying he's handsome. <laughs> and good luck to her as well. Here up. James is there. There's Peterson. They know Jason Lee. Inside the Melman. Couldn't die. This is a bit better from. Elminaka looking for the diagonal ball for Boyson, but back to the keeper. He clears straight away. So a bit of pressure at last from Elminaka. It's starting to look a bit more positive going into the last seven, eight minutes of this game now. Gabia seemed to be uh, fatiguing slowly. And that's one of the things that we should always have on a lot of the other teams, and it always shows, is the fitness of the academy players. Ryan Bowen is the man behind the... Uh, the fitness regimes these players follow to make sure that those six days a week when they're playing and training with these UEFA A and pro licensed coaches that they are fit and healthy and Miuete Sete, the restaurant that makes sure they have the right intake of all the right carbs and proteins and vitamins, which is why we've got the Greek Adonis like looking Danny Atherton in the van with us today. Done well from his time out there. Too kind. And we picked up a free kick on a chance in his last five minutes to launch into the middle of the ground. Yeah, the pitch, just another box. opportunity. Let's just see if we can finally get an actual chance in this game. Not that uh, chances have been few and far between, but um, let's see what we can do from this uh, set play. James. Peterson, you said Peterson's good in the hair. Jason Lee, Montero, all up there. Gone big at the back, and there is James, and he just couldn't time that right. Looked like he just had to jump, but just Max exchanging a few words there with uh, one of the Gabia players, and receives what? a booking for it. Just goes down in the box there, Max. And, uh, yeah, what's that? Is that the second, third or fourth yellow card of the game there? Our second, third of the game. Montero plays it forward, Kundai pulls it across. Montero, oh, I oh, just couldn't bring it under control. Taylor James, Jason Lee. Oh, so, oh, we'll have handball there, but Luis Mee's got it back. He's gone across. It oh. oh, looked like. Can we keep it alive, though? But Boyson's keeping it alive. In there for Sanchez. Montero. Can we finish? Luis Mee. Can he get a shot in? Oh, nice little run in there behind Sanchez. Across. But there's nobody in there. There's nobody coming near post. As they break, Kundai's got to try and stop it, and he does. Gives away the foul in the same time. We call that a professional foul there, just stopping that counter attack. Just don't let him, doesn't let him get away. Ah, yeah, just, just pulls it just slightly behind him. Just that timing of that run. Just doesn't, doesn't quite manage to get hold of the ball. Ooh. Peterson getting in well there. But Message from Emmanuel Ogunibi, Manuel, hi Tom and Richard. Manuel, one of our 
one of the players out there and one of the great cameramen. He's helping today, making sure all these games get covered. He was on the camera earlier today. So big shout out to all these lads and the Gabia player kindly picks the ball up and lets everybody know how, what should be happening here. We'll just drop the ball to us, please, and we can get on with it. Okay. That was a bit different. Giving it back and pressing them at the same time. Melman just misses it. Peterson doesn't. Montero uh, will clear back to the keeper. Bader James got to keep the concentration at the back still. And Peterson. Players back in their numbers. Now Sanchez gets a chance to bring it forward. Kundai. It's looked pretty useful since he's come on, trying to create things. Baylor James. It's gone wide. Lewis Me. It's got. It's got Jason Lee outside him, but. Yeah, the bounce just took it away from him there. Kundai. Lewis Me. And Gabby are under a bit of pressure, clear their line, so chance for the last two minutes of the 90, plus any extras. Melman and Louise Meek have up, but Melman is into the box, back post. Oh, oh and just above Boyson. Very, very tidy player, Charlie. Does really well just to keep the ball with him there. Just a good little drop of the shoulder and a nice ball to the back of the post. Back of the post, the back post. He's uh, looked bright for us since he's came on. Kundai and Melman have made a lot of difference, and I think Gabby are playing for the draw. The last 90 seconds. I think the, they're not probably used to playing on the grass, and it's like sapped all the energy out of them. I'm going to go long. Now Kundai brings it down. Moment. Oh, just trying to get Montero in, doesn't work. And that was Sanchez. Moment. Kundai. Bring it under. Well played, Boyson. And ref's happy about the carry on, but now at the free kick. It's gone early. Kundai. Peterson. Lee. Peterson. Oh, nice layout play there. Brings Lee in, in turn, and find his man. We go back. Peterson, he goes for a long split ball. It's been like held up in the wind, but Sanchez. He's he enjoying a little spell now at the end of the game here where we just box Gabby into their half. I don't know whether that's because of the tiring, and, but they're struggling to get out of the half at the moment. So the 90 minutes. It's just upon us. This is depends how much the referees allow, but if not, it's going to be the last opportunity. It should be about 25 minutes added time after watching Victor walk on. <laughs> <laughs> but Gabby, yeah, they break. Well in there, Boyson trying to get it under control. Goes past Montero, just keeps going back. Oh, Montero's picked up. Oh, oh it looked like there we might have a one last minute. They've gone all the way back. Good pressing, keeping the pressure piled on here though. It's all in the moment. It's a good reaction straight away though. We won the ball back straight away. There you go again. Seems to have come to life later on in the game here. Lee. It's a great ball. All over the top. Moment. But he's offside. But um, a really good move. Not sure about that one. Played it early. Oh, we'll play Kundai getting his foot in there. Boyson. 
Kundai, nice little turn on the edge there, but it's run into a player. And Gabia making a last minute run. He got the numbers around the back, one on one. Oh, well across Yamaguchi, clearing any danger there. Was the just this, the, the chance from earlier. Let's just have a look, see if it is offside. I'm not too sure. He's still running Kundai when he's just out of our ah, picture. But you can see when he comes back onto the picture, he's still on line with the defender. I don't think that's offside there. Gabby, I've got away with one there. And there's Dallas having to make sure that he keeps concentration right to the end. He's made so. it look easy. Being a goalkeeper myself, I did spot the bubble where it kicked up right into his chest there. So he's dealt with that and made it look very easy from a pretty difficult ball. So like the, like, like the kick on the black when you're just about to get your 147, you know. Everybody else sees it. Nobody else sees it, but the uh, other players do. Here comes Kundai. He's looking for that run. And there it is. He's got Boyson, Montero. Oh, just two of them. But one defender came away with the ball. Peterson. Jason Lee. Just into the third minute of added time now. There can't be long left. If there was ever a moment for a bit of magic from someone, it was now. Oh, and it wasn't there from Boyson, but we've still got the ball. Sanchez plays it round. And Boyson get there. He's definitely got the pace. And he's won the corner. No, goal kick. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full time whistle and the scores on the doors. CD, Almanac City nil, Gabia CF nil, and. There are not a lot of highlights from that game to give you or goals. Now, we have got a Brucey bonus coming up in one hour, 20 minutes. We are bringing you the senior team in action in Nurha, where they're top of the table. They're playing fifth chance to take it there. So we're going to love you and leave you nice and quickly. Thank you very much. Tony Williams said man of the match was the magic sponge man as uh, Victor Franco yeah. is picked out by Danny. Danny, thank you very much. You're staying with us in the next game. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. We're going to love you and leave you nice and quickly so we can get ourselves over to Nurha for the next game. England have won this one, 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, they have completed the greatest of comebacks. Callum Hoover, Godfrey Callum, Godfrey. Oh, 
2018 champions, London Monarchs. 